Hey everybody, Leah Klett here with the Christian Post, and my guest today is Dove Award-winning Christian music artist, Colton Dixon. Well, Colton, thanks so much for taking some time to speak with me today. I had so much fun seeing your cameo appearance in County Rescue. Thank you. Um, you go through a little bit of a scary situation, so talk yeah. about how you got involved with his show. Yeah, so... I'll be fully transparent. Acting was not on my radar in the least bit. Um, I uh, tried my hand in high school with a little bit of theater and and decided music was probably the safer route for me. But we uh, we had this opportunity to come across our table and and my management kind of hesitantly asked, like, so acting, you know, would you like to do that? And I'm like, let's look at the script and see if this is something that makes sense. And and uh, man, it just looked like a really cool opportunity. We we love everyone involved with County Rescue and it has so much heart and humor and um, also like deals with like some real things that people go through. And um, and one of those things was kind of a scare backstage, you know, so I get to play myself and and uh, at a show and and uh, I won't give too much away in case, you know, you haven't seen it yet. But um, there is a medical scare that happens and uh, thankful that uh, someone on the County Rescue team is there uh, to help out, but uh, super fun uh, cast and crew was amazing, and we just had a great time that day. So, why was it important to you also to honor our first responders with with your platform? Because this show really does elevate the people who are on the yeah. front lines. Yeah, I, man, I don't know about you. I'm thankful um, for people in that line of work. Um, I think that I think that God works through people a lot of the time, and uh, He chooses to use. Uh, first responders and um, medical workers and police officers. And um, I mean, you name it, um, I'm for it. Um, even just, uh, we were talking kids just before we started this interview and and we had a little scare with one of our twins, um, you know, at birth. And uh, I'm just, I'm so thankful for doctors, for nurses, for first responders. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't know that uh, it would be the same story, um, you know, if, if we were rewind however many, you know, decades, centuries ago, um, where it wasn't a thing. So I'm super thankful for what they do. Well, I believed in your acting on this show. It was, you did a great job. Are we well, going to see <laughs> more of you in, in film and television, do you think? Man, I, you know, I'm, I'm certainly open to it. I think um, I'm thankful to County Rescue for, uh, you know, believing me enough to give me a shot, but uh, it was super fun. So yeah, I think I'm open to that um, when we can find time in between touring and music schedules. But uh, who knows? Who knows? You might you might not have seen the last of me yet. <laughs> Colton, how do you stay faithful to the calling that God has placed on your life, especially as your star just continues to rise and you're doing more and more things? Yeah, I think it's something you have to be intentional about. I think it's something that you have to constantly check in to make sure that um, you're doing what God has asked you to do, um, because I think so quickly it can turn from God's calling into just what you love. Mm -hmm. And then like the love of telling people about Jesus becomes more important than actually doing the deed, if that makes any sense. Um, so for me, it's checking in and, and uh, it's a daily conversation um, with God. It's a relationship. And, and not only that, but even with my wife as well, you know, the, the moment my wife is kind of like, Hey, I think we think we need you at home. It's like, all right, cool. I'm home. Um, it's, it's God first family, second ministry, third for me. And, and I don't always get those priorities, right. That's something I'm still learning how to manage, but, um, I know at the end of the day, that's what it needs to be. So yeah, I, it's a constant check-in. Well, speaking of, of kids, you know, you're on the front lines of entertainment and, I know as a parent, it can be scary knowing what to put in front of your kids. As as yeah. a you know, an artist, how does fatherhood impact the projects that you take on, whether it's in film or music? Yeah, um, you know, kind of letting the moral compass guide that has always been a thing for me, um, aligning myself with things that I believe in. Um, you know, I do think that there is there is space. Um ultimately you need to be led by the spirit of God, because I think there can also be opportunities that might not line up perfectly, but, um, you know, you need to do, um, even just as a, uh, potential to, uh, maybe win some souls over for the kingdom, you know, they might not go to church or they might not whatever. And, and they'll hear a song or they'll see you, you know, at something go, Oh, what, what's up about this guy? And they'll check in and they'll see 
what, why we do what we do. Um, but yeah, now being a dad, it just kind of reemphasizes that. And it's, it's such a great filter. Um, honestly, for anyone, it kind of like, if there were ever any rough edges in your life, you might not have even realized it. It's just like, if I don't want my kids doing this or saying this or, or watching this, maybe, maybe I shouldn't, you know, it's just a really good filter. So, um, I'm, I'm so thankful for them. And, and I'm also thankful for TV and kids shows that don't have all the, we'll just call it stuff that this world is trying to throw at so many of us. So, um, we're thankful for those shows big time. You shot to fame on American Idol, which is, which is yeah. so cool. And what's so interesting to me is so many people that were on American Idol are now working in the Christian music industry. Why do you think so many artists that got their start on that show are using their platform now to glorify God? Man, um, <laughs> part of me thinks that American Idol was like all the churchgoers' guilty pleasure. <laughs> it's like what they love to watch as a family. That was our family. You know, grew up going to church, and I when Idol was on, it was like the thing we did. Um, but you're right. So many of us, Mandisa, Danny Goki, um, just a couple um, that I can think of, um, and so many more. Um, man, God, God's real, and I think He becomes real to everyone at some point in, in their own life and in their own walk and in their own time, it's their choice, um, whether or not they, they choose to follow after God's heart. But, um, he's just been really real to me, um, since, since I was young. And so any opportunity that I have, um, I want to use that to glorify him. So, and it's so cool to me to see, um, other contestants as well, some before and some after me, um, following the same suit. Um, so yeah, it's, it's so much bigger than just me. Um, don't get me wrong. I love writing songs. I love, um, I love crafting a great live show. I love doing all those things, but, um, the goal is to maybe illuminate new things for people about God that they didn't know, or just to love on people, to give joy to people. Um, that's why I do what I do. Yeah. Have you faced any challenges in the music industry because of your faith? And if so, how have you navigated those? You know, even, even for my time on American Idol, um, people were pretty supportive. They, they kind of gave the the blanket, like, watch out if you're political or religious, you know, just because you'll alienate an audience. Completely agree with the statement. It's true. Um, you'll alienate some folks. The moment that you say, I side with this or I I'm team this whatever um but they also said be true to who you are and and my faith in the Lord is everything um with me so that wasn't something I was going to shy away from um what's actually kind of funny is I did idol signed with the Christian label got dropped by the Christian label a few years in and then now I'm signed to a secular label which I kind of love um it just presents an opportunity to reach people outside the church. And, and there's nothing wrong with a Christian music label. I love those people. Um, but I feel just called to people in general, not necessarily church people. So uh, Atlantic has per really provided some great opportunities to, to reach a little bit further um, than I was able to before. And, and uh, I'm really excited to see what God does next. So Colton, what advice do you have for young artists who want to express their faith through music or you know, through TV and movies. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. Or through acting. Um, <laughs> I could probably speak more into the music side. <laughs> um, you know, something I had to learn at a young age was uh, be in the here and now, like God is going to give you an opportunity now. Um, and he's going to look to see what kind of steward you are of that. It's really easy to look on the other side of the fence and think that the grass is greener. Um, but if you're so busy looking on the other side of the fence, you're not tending to your own grass. Your grass can be green too. So um, really look for what God has for you now, whether it's you know to five people or a thousand people, wherever you're at, um, steward that time and he'll, uh, he'll make you a ruler over much. So um, stick with it. Wonderful. Colton, thank you so much. Yes, thank you so much.